What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. Beautiful One Piece, episode 1096. So excited for this. Egghead has been an amazing start for the past couple weeks. I mean, I think it was since episode 1091. Is that right? That feels like it's not that long ago. I mean, it's what? One, two, three, four, five, about a month, a month and a week. Something like that. It's been so much fun. The, the color, the animation, seeing it all on the screen, the production after, you know, reading it, you know, and, and only seeing all this stuff in black and white for so long. And then now finally getting to this point where we're starting to see what the island looks like and, you know, all their new fits and you know, everybody just got fitted out and everything uh, two episodes ago in their new like futuristic outfits from from the island. You know, the the, the technology, the 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 backstory that is you know being teased you know the hints of information like there's so much to come that is just hyping me up bro and i keep on saying this the the overwhelming sense that you get from how much is happening at once we're over at egghead right now with two different groups luffy's group and the rest of his crew's group uh and then we have you know we we have officially met all six of the vegapunks and you know shaka is apparently starting to talk to us about you know potentially this island you know being of the past you know, maybe there, apparently there was a civilization or, a, or an island that was even more technologically advanced or just as advanced as Egghead 900 years ago, which is just like, okay, how the fuck is that possible? Frankie was like, what are you talking about? That's almost a millennia ago. 900 years ago with more advanced or at least just as advanced technology as this? That just doesn't sound believable, right? But he's going on to talk about this. And then also before that, I think uh, in episode 1094, right at the end, it, it seemed like Shaka was talking to Dragon. So it seems Dragon and him know each other. And Shaka, you know, apparently telling him, like, I'm going to die soon or some shit like this. So that's very interesting information that we have yet to completely dive into. I mean, there's just so many little hints that we're getting into in the beginning of this arc. That is amazing. Uh, and that's just Egghead. We got all the stuff that's going on with Sabo and the revolutionaries and what happened to Luisha. And then we got the insane fight between Blackbeard and Law that just started up. 1093. Yeah. 1093, a couple weeks ago. That fight had just started. Not finished yet. Haven't gotten back to that yet since we've seen that. And the animation was looking absolutely amazing just in terms of the spectacle of the whole thing. It looked, it just looked like the same tier of animation that we were getting in Wano for all those big fights in there. Absolutely amazing stuff. And this is just the beginning start of this arc the official start or whatever for the anime was 1091 that was only four or five weeks ago that's what i'm saying how early we are and how much is still to come and bonnie and her you know finally learning about her father is kuma all that shit why she's here to question vegapunk and you know potentially kill him depending on his answer on what the details are of, it, of her father and shit like that I mean, there's just... Oh, dude, it's so fucking good. That's all I really got to say. I just want to get into this and watch it. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. 1096, One Piece. Oh, that's right. And this this giant robot, bro. What the fuck is this, man? What the fuck is this? Ah, this is so exciting. I love this shit, man. A forbidden piece of history. A theory concerning a king kingdom, bro. Yo. He's talking about Ohara. They can't let information leak. Anytime there's some crazy information, they're willing to go as far as they got to to get rid of the, any fucking liabilities. We just had an example of that at the beginning of this arc.
その後世界政府を発足し今の世界を作ったそしてある王国の思想を誰にも継がせないため歴史からそのすべてを消し去ったうん何その話え本当なのかそれうわあ<笑>ロマンの塊それで大原がバスターコール食らったってことはもしかしてそれ知ったやつはえああ消されるハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハそれはもう政府が事実と認めたようなものじゃないか。うーん。よーし。ーしてるの政府に所属しようが、私でも口にすれば消される。He's like, shut up! Don't, don't keep talking! だったら、どうやって王国のことを調べたの世界中からかき集めた大原の文献はもう大原の意志は生きている世界政府の転覆を目論む悪の学者集団としてな、mm-hmm. How desperate they are to fucking get rid of liabilities it's crazy Like I said we just had an example of that in the beginning of this arc with Luisha クローバー博士とは少々認識があり花でも食べてようとな彼は空白の100年に執着し Damn, look at Young Clover, yo! This is so dope. Ten times, wow. Mm hmm. I love this history, bro. Oh my goodness. アルカ昔の文献と発見したいくつかのポーネグリフを読み解くことで我々はやがて一つの国の存在に気づいた今はもう跡形もないが文献の上に浮かび上がったのはある巨大な王国の姿かつては強大な力を誇ったようだがその国の情報は必要なまでに書き消されておる古代兵器は確かに世界を脅かすだがそれ以上に歴史とともに呼び起こされるその王国の存在と思想こそがお前たち世界政府にとって Damn right! They want the people to stay dumb! They don't want them to know about this shit! Exactly like Vegapunk just said! Because of how they acted and got rid of all these people and called this bus call in O'Hara, right? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that, wouldn't that point you in the right direction that this theory is probably true? Because they wanted to hide it that badly? <laughs> Fucking insane, bro. This world government, man. Too corrupt. Oh, yo, this is so exciting. <laughs> Damn, that was the Fucking real ones, baby! Never give up! A victory! Mm. Bro, this is heading so close to home for Robin.
歴史は人の財産あなたたちがこれから生きる未来をきっと照らしてくれる She was right だけど過去から受け取った歴史は次の時代に引き渡さなくちゃ、mm-hmm. 私たちの研究はここで終わりになるけどたとえこのおはらが滅びてもあなたたちの生きる未来 Damn right! Every single one of them stayed back and protected those fucking books. And they all died for it. God damn. <clears throat> bro, this is getting me emotional right now. Fuck, bro. This is what I'm talking about. So honorable. Damn right. Yo, chill, bro. Chill out, chill out, chill out. It's not, it's not tears of fucking sadness, bro. It's tears of joy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He hasn't, doesn't he? I'm a punk hazard or a much carry tight to call that. Joe Sogan on Nimini Hyde to Svete or Wider. Conna Yasirani Sogu Standa. Nah, get this halfway straight out the fucking way. Hurry up. Hurry up, bro. Damn, dude. Oh my god, this episode is so fucking gas. Ah, oh, fuck. Why do they have to do that to me, bruh? Fucking A. <laughs> They're actually trying to find a place where they can, like, use this thing. <laughs> These two are so funny. Yes. <laughs> 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 I fucking love these two together, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Unfortunately, not. Autonomous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Robomaru. Robotaro. Robo Ace. <laughs> You're just combining Robo with all the other names he's known. <laughs> The fuck? Yeah. Looks like somebody landed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Here he is! <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend! <laughs> Just like Kinemon. <laughs> I 
He already knows him as Dragon's son. <laughs> Yo, they're so souped. Yo, the animation looks so good. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. This is so fucking cool. Man with the best brain in the world. This is monumental right here, baby. I've been waiting for this reveal. Oh my god. Oh, and it ends right there. They give us that reveal and they just fucking end it. Yo, so good, bro. So good. Oh, dude. I'm satisfied. That was so fucking gas, dude. Holy shit. Alrighty, guys. Want another spectacular episode of One Piece. That was... Ah. Oh, so much fun to watch. I mean, the first half was getting me a little... Whoo. Bring me back, bro. Like, this is what I'm talking about. The way they're connecting everything. I mean, Oda is a genius. Oda himself might be fucking even smarter than Vegapunk at this point. I mean, goddamn. He... This is coming out of one man's brain, dude. This story. This is what continually... Continually amazes me with him is how he comes up with this shit and how he's created this story it's fucking crazy so trying to track back from where we left or where we started we pretty much get right back into the conversation with shaka and the and, and the rest of luffy's crew where he's talking about you know this supposedly you know kingdom that existed 900 years ago and that it's just a theory but then starts you know linking back to all of this stuff that has been sort of found out about this kingdom from 900 years ago and it leads all the way back to ohara and clover and how clover was you know the, the greatest archaeologist that ever lived and eventually more archaeologists came to found ohara and uh that's how they that's how they lived their lives they always wanted to like learn as much as they could about history and continue to do so and really find out the truth and that's what led them all the way to at least acknowledging this existence of this kingdom, but still realizing that there's no real history left on it. Like it's all been erased or hidden and they had, and they had realized that. And that's really what caused them to have that buster call called upon the island and destroy everybody and kill everybody because the world government was like yeah y'all know too much this is not nah, we can't let this slide and so time and time again we're seeing that the world government if there's a liability in some information getting out that they don't want normal people to know like the you know just normal everyday people they're going to do everything they can to stop that information getting out. And that's exactly what happened in Ohara. And we're getting back to that through this story that Shaka is telling for Vegapunk about how that all happened and, you know, why they, I mean, they really achieved a victory, so to speak. Even though they lost their lives and Ohara was destroyed, they stayed while the island was burning down and saved as many books as they could by throwing them into the lake in the center of the island. And any of those regular Marines or anybody that was still there that was destroying the island during the Buster Call, they don't know what those value of those books are, are worth or, or how valuable they are to history and just the world and, and, and the truth. So obviously they'd either just ignore them or they just didn't know any better to seize them. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, they figured, you know, since the whole island's destroyed, there's no way anything's left, right? But every single one of those archaeologists, including Robin's mom, stayed to save as many books as possible and gave their lives for it so as vegapunk said it's kind of a victory for ohara if you think about it and that's what brought robin to tears because of how much she went through and how she was the only girl left from that island and was hunted down for the rest of her life until she met luffy's crew which gave him some gave her some sort of reason or happiness to to want to live because she'd been running her whole life for so long from the from the go from the government as robin's mom said like this, us doing this and keeping the, the past or the history alive is going to help you young ones in the future. And she was right. Like, it's all happening right now. 
And as Shock is telling the story, Robin eventually, like, she realizes what he's alluding to. And, you know, he went to visit that island to leave flowers for Clover. And he just so it happened that Dragon and the Revolutionaries visited at the same time. We saw that shadow figure of Dragon standing there with flowers as well. And, you know, he was, Vegapunk was planning on taking the Punk Hazard, but it'd be too much of a risk if, like, the, you know, world government or top officials of the Navy found out about it. So it was just lucky by chance that they had happened to go there the same day and it seems that the books and all of that information from ohara are in the hands of the revolutionaries which is just crazy those all that information all that history is still here in the world it has not been destroyed all thanks to their hard work and giving up their lives for it that is just fucking beautiful man seeing Robin break down into tears bro like oh dude that was gonna be emotional and then like everybody else in the crew's like why'd you make her cry oh, we're gonna fuck you up you know what I'm saying like but like they were understanding it's tears of joy like she's proud of her you know where she's from and the people that she spent time with there with including her mother and Clover and everybody like she that was like a full circle moment for her where she felt really proud and uh you know continued to talk to shaka and you know they were you know having kind of a conversation that really only those two understood which was an insane moment i mean it was just uh, uh dude it was so beautiful and then pretty much the second half of the episode is chopper and luffy still trying to figure out how to control this robot uh you know trying to look for a cop a cockpit if they control it like like you get into a cockpit and control it like that but then they're they're like okay we can't find anything like that and chopper's like okay maybe it's autonomous so that means it's you know it works on its own and you have to like activate it or something so they're calling it all kinds of names <laughs> luffy's just con combining robo with any other name that he knows from people he's met robonosuke momonosuke robotaru i mean he's just saying all kinds of shit same with chopper like big robo you know <laughs> it's just fucking hilarious and then all of a sudden as they said something this shockwave kind of erupts as it looked like something hit it, but they were thinking like, what the fuck, did the robot just explode? What the hell's going on? So it almost makes you think, oh shit, one of, the, one of those names worked. No. The man, the myth, the legend himself comes flying out of nowhere from some, I guess, experimentation that he's doing. Lands on this giant robot and seems to be like sinking into it and is asking for help. And so Luffy's like, okay, I'll ask you, I'll help you out. He pulls him out. And then the first thing he says, oh, you're Dragon Son, aren't you? And he turns around, oh, you're Bonnie. Oh, you've grown up. And then that's when Bonnie's like, Vegapunk. And then they start using their uh, hover boots because he, they, he's like hovering and Luffy's freaking out. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, oh, you can do it too. He just presses his button, pushes his lever down. And then they start flying up into the sky and they're hovering and shit. Chopper, Luffy, and, and Chopper. Uh, Chopper, Luffy, and Vegapunk, I mean. And this is the true man, the myth, the legend, the Vegapunk himself. And we're seeing him for the first time revealed officially in this in this show and it's just oh dude what a monumental episode that was that was so good i was waiting for this reveal for so long and i think they did a great job the animation looked exquisite for something so simple like it's not like a fight or anything is going on but the animation looks so fluid and and just good ah oh, dude it was, it was amazing that episode was fucking gas bro that's what i'm talking about the history the backstory the information the truth that is going to be continuing to revealed through this through this arc is just unparalleled i ah dude it's so good bro oh man that was that was amazing i i can't wait for more every week is a blessing with one piece dude every week is so exciting that's going to do it for me what an amazing episode what an amazing reaction if y'all enjoyed it please like down below comment subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping i'll see y'all in the next one y'all be good deuces Thank <laughs> you.